looking for you everywhere. Where do you go to fill daisy? It's the very time you two started putting your weight around here. I've been on my three feet all day digging. Oh, you're as bad as this lot. 
She's not going to have time to bother with you. We're much too poor for that, and she just put her nose in the air and walked by. Well, I shall speak to her. Oh, yes, I'm sure you will. And she'll look at you and say, my, what a handsome boy. Oh, you can do it. And who might you be, young sir? You're just making fun, Mother. Well, anyway, I've got work to do. I've got to get Jack, Jack,
Thank you, Dufi. Yeah. Oh, steady on. You're talking about the princess. Yes, and then we'll all end up locked up in the band's dungeon. The cat. The cow? Uh, yes. Daisy. What about Daisy? We'll have to block her. Block her? But she hasn't done anything wrong. Oh. I don't mean beat her, I mean sell her. But we can't sell Daisy. We can't sell Daisy, can we? No! Oh, yes, we can. Oh, we can. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, we can. Well, I'm afraid, Jack, there's no other way. If we don't sell Daisy, the Baron will take her anyway when he takes the house because we have got no money. Oh, but Daisy's part of the family. Huh? I know, I know, we can sell Simon instead. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you don't want to sell me, do you? Yeah. But wait a minute, we get more money for Daisy. That's no, you won't. <laughs> what, do you want to avoid me? Find the cow for him. 
And when you catch up again, you're going to exchange the bees for the cow. He won't fall for a trick like that. Now. Oh, I know! We can always get Ben to go along, beat Jack up, <laughs> and pinch the cow. Yeah, yeah. Silly idiots! You've forgotten one very small thing. What's that? That one out there! Oh, We'd never get away with it. Would we? No! Cash for my 
would come here 20 or more years ago, of course. Do you remember that? Go on, Albert, you think so. Yeah, that was the cold weather.
before, never, never land before. But I thought he died years ago. They say his master is a, 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 a huge giant. Well, I'll soon cut him down to size. But where is this never, never land baron? Who knows? Up there somewhere. But I did hear this giant, giant crunch point. That's his name. Is is over ten feet tall and really wicked and evil. Well, I'll give him giant crunch bones and I'll get my hands on him. But can't you send your soul <laughs> to fight him? <laughs> uh, no. Um, unfortunately, they'd be helpless against him. You see, he has uh, magical powers, yes. So there must be something we can do to rescue the princess. Um, I'm afraid not. The only chance we do have, though, is if some brave lad can Find the never never, <coughs> rescue the princess, and all without the giant knowing. Then I shall do my best to find her, Baron. I love her. I wish you luck, my boy. And I know the king will offer a huge reward to whoever can find her and bring her back. And I'll be off right away. And uh, I must send somebody to inform the king. Oh, I inform the king immediately. Oh, I don't know what's worse, facing the giant French foes or facing my mother. Farewell, brave young Jack. Come here. How you said? Come here. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. That's it, good boy. Get back here. Now listen very carefully. As I said this all at once. Listen. Good. I want you two to follow that boy. <coughs> Not yet. <laughs> if anyone can find this never never that, it will be him. And if there is a reward going, then I want it. Did you try on? Oh, well, uh, we then. Yes, definitely we then. But remember, you must find the princess before that boy. Here we go again, Bill, doing all that going work. Well, what do you think I pay you for? After all, you will be getting uh, your share of rewards, you know? I never, never thought of that, did you, Bill?
do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, I reckon that's a good idea. Let's yeah. just stick to chicken, shall we? Oh. I think that would be better. Ian! You don't reckon Jack's run off with all the money for selling daisies, do you? Oh, don't be so stupid, <laughs> Simon. You wouldn't do a thing like that. <laughs>
Not tonight, Jack. Maybe tomorrow. What have we got to lose anyway? No money, no food, and no home after tomorrow. Oh! oh. I know. Maybe the baron won't throw us out. Throw, throw us. Maybe the, maybe the baron won't throw us out. Don't you believe it? <coughs> when it comes to money, that old baron is the meanest man in the land. So we shall have to pay him anyway. Oh. Now you can go off to bed without any supper. But they could be magic beans. They could be magic beans, but they're not magic beans.
Oh no, look, here comes old Bossy Britches. Um, what's her name? Um, Nicole, if you don't mind, don't mind. And stop shouting. Stand up properly. Yes, mistress. <laughs> and, um, what can we do for you, Miss Decorum? Well, actually, I came to see your son. But I didn't do it, Mum, honest. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. It really wasn't me, honestly, Mum. I didn't do it. Do what, Simon? I don't know. <laughs>
bit worried about Jack. Do you think I ought to let him go up that thing, so? No! Do you think I ought to let him go up the beam store? I don't know this, so don't know what horrible, creepy, crawly things are up there, do we? No. no.
you will be responsible. I Am I? What? <laughs> Who said don't tell it? We will. We will. Then you be first in the pop country. No. So don't you dare tell Josh. Yes. Yeah. I'll put him to sleep again with my magic dust. Shall I? Thank you. 
That's right. So both these young ladies are six today, so we're just singing them happy birthday, all right? And it's um, Michelle and Samantha, okay? <laughs> Hello. Hello. 
scratch on it? James. Oh, James, that's nice, isn't it? And you come from almost a two? Yes. If you go over that way, Simon will help you down the steps and there's some sweeties at the end of it. Alright? Thank you very much. You can give me a kiss. Thank you. Bye bye. Well done. Okay? Alright, get in.
No, we, we want to see the teddy bears take it one step. We've had enough of that all the week. Woo! Welcome back to see how Jack's getting off. Who? Jack. Yes.
have surgery over three hours. It's that red building up there in the car park. Oh, I've got just a little wind trouble. I said, uh, Dr. Fred said not to worry. He gave me something for it. Yeah, he said, take down Cleo three times a day. You soon get rid of the wind. <laughs> Bye. 
God, she's got it. I think she's got it, Bernie. Okay, then. Let's have a go. What's the matter, my dear? But they're a lovely audience. Oh, typical. Woman won't do anything with the light off. <laughs> Okay, then let's put the light out there. No, we won't see her. <laughs> there you are. That's good. Not going to be a better girl. We had this problem last night. Stop looking at my clothes. <laughs>
tell me what she got in her hand. <laughs>
Sorry, boy, you've got me for you, Why, why is that, sir? She's a shield. She's a shield? Yeah, you know what a shield is, don't you?
gentlemen, boys and girls, I have been given the honour of giving this year's traditional final night speech, so I'll try and keep it short and sweet. Each year we try to give our audiences something special, and this year is no exception, but for us here on stage, this year is extra special. As you are probably aware, we are celebrating 25 years of local pantomime. Over the years, we've had our ups and downs. Will there be a show? Won't there be a show? As you can see, 25 years on and we're still here. Will we be here in the next 25? We certainly hope so. What you see before here, here us on stage is a small representation of a large company. I would now like to take this opportunity to thank the people you haven't seen, but are as equally important as the people here before you. Firstly, I'd like to thank Bernie on the organ, Steve on the drum, so a wonderful job Let's come up, Sandra, for organising and making the costumes, and what a grand job. <laughs> Choreography by Karen Lawson and Sam Griff. Would you like to come up? props and scenery who has worked hard for six months and I hope you'll agree it was a grand job. <laughs> and under the direction of Steve Bull and all the stage crew, please come and take a bow. Assistance. Everyone involved in setting and operating lighting and special effects under Phil's direction. <laughs> and thanks to all who helped Front of House throughout all the week. And a special thanks to Nick Swan, Dave Rani, our producer, and of course our director, Tom Simlet. To anyone I may have missed, I apologise if I have. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank the most important part of any production, and I feel privileged to be able to stand here before you tonight on behalf of the company and to say to the audience, thank you for 25 years of support. Thank you.